Hey, how's it going everybody? It has been a few weeks since I even put anything up. Been busy at the shop, got to make a living. So, what I have here is a pair of boots. These are the Forma Boulders, I believe. <clears throat> Let me make sure I haven't even looked at this box. Yes, the Boulder Browns. I had no intention of buying these boots. The reason I have them is, the story goes, I had the MSR Adventure Boots I purchased last fall. was wearing those so that I could do basically a, a review on them, on how they were. I went to my camp back in February on a Saturday, put all my riding gear on, rode for a few hours, come back to camp, load up, come home, took my stuff out of the vehicle the next day, and lo and behold, my MSR boots were not in the car. And then I kind of think back of what went on, and I don't recall putting them in the compass. <clears throat> so, I always change my boots on the porch at the cabin. So, one of two things happen. I either left them on the porch, and someone drove along and happened to see them and grabbed them, or when I was taking some of my stuff down to the compass and loading the bikes, the bike up, I could have sat them on the toolbox on the trailer or even on maybe the fender on the trailer. What's up, Scout? And as I went down the road, they fell off, laid on the road, somebody come by, picked them up. Of course, they would not know who they belonged to. But if there's anybody watching this that has a camp up in the Pottersdale area of Pennsylvania and you found a pair of MSR Adventure boots, they belong to me. So if you could kindly drop them off at Camp Mama Don't Want on Susie's Lane, then I'll be grateful for it. But anyhow, so I came, I come to the conclusion I had to get another pair of boots. So I looked, I got on Rocky Mountain, pulled up the MSRs was basically going to order another pair of those because I like those boots. I, I really didn't have many complaints on those boots. They were actually a very good boot for $240. But as I looked at those boots, I noticed these formas were only $10 more. They were $250. So I made the decision to just go ahead and get the forma boots so that I could basically try these and see how they worked. Maybe I would like them better than the MSR boots. So that's how we arrived here. So like I said, 250 for these. I'll go ahead and get them up here in front of the camera and show you around them and show you what we got. Okay, so there's a good look at them from that side. Thanks, Scouter. This is my little dog here. There's a good look at them, the other side. Now, I'll say one thing to start off. They do not have any type of plastic plate on top of the toe box on there. The, the MSR did have that. <clears throat> uh, the sole is stitched on and it is a really basically flat sole and it's reinforced here. Of course there is steel inside uh, on the sole and they have this red reinforced stiffer rubber there and you can see the lugs on it actually pretty pretty nice those look pretty good uh, I did not even these boots I have not walked I, I put them on and walked around the little shop here but I haven't had them on the bike or out in the dirt yet uh, okay right there very nice, uh, typical straps. I mean, they're the, they got the little ridges on them that you just pull and push to adjust. Of course, the buckle here, it is replaceable. Phillips head screw, Phillips head screw. Uh, these, these are, that's a metal bracket, plastic, plastic. They do clamp over very nice. These are supposed to be waterproof. And I'll show you where the, the booty is actually very high. Right there is the little booty inside, and it comes up. You can see this is the front of the boot, and the top of that booty is right there. 
Uh, a lot, a lot of my boots I bought, they're basically down in here, like halfway down. <clears throat> so that's pretty nice. Little elastic band up top here. Uh, little soft, flexible area right there on the back. And these boots do have Velcro on the inside, if you can see it. Right there, right here. If you're wearing socks, uh, that will happen to that will grip your socks can help keep your socks up now front of course this is hard plastic protection up there and this is basically this whole front is ribbed for her pleasure uh, it's ribbed for it's got a lot of flexibility to it on that side and there's also a notch right here for flexibility on the side of the boot you have an area of flex here on the back and you have hard plastic protection right here in this area and you do have the safety ankle shield they call it right here on the side now that's on the inside on the outside they do not have that same thing this is just flat it does not have the shield in it the side of the boot on this side this is basically just a a heavy leather and it has like an imprint on it uh, it's almost like this maybe that's not even leather I can't there's this is plastic right here so maybe this is a plastic with just a suede coating on it I'm not sure I can't I can't tell you that for sure so what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and of course three buckles you can see that instead of the typical four on a full-on off-road boot I'm going to go ahead and stick these. I want to show you another thing too. These have, on the inside, they come with this little, uh, this little footbed here. It says air, air pump system here. I'm not sure what that means. There's a little hump right here. I'm guessing there's a little, a little bit of air in there or something like that. So it says air pump system, but I'm going to say I'm not a fan of this. Just with I put the boots on right here in the shop and walked around. This little hump feels a little goofy. I will probably put a set of my own gel type inserts in these boots. Uh, it's not, I'm sure it's going to help you a little bit, but this just feels really odd up in the arch of your foot. So, I'm going to go ahead and slide that back in there. Some folks, I'm sure, will think it's awesome. I just wasn't a real big fan of it. So, let me adjust the camera, and I'm going to go ahead and put these on so you can kind of see me getting my foot in them. These are CE certified. You do get a form of decal also with them. I just got my old dirty white socks on from working all day so I'll go ahead and slide her in here. Okay and these do fit. I am a typically an 11 when it comes to sneakers, dress shoes, boots and these fit me spot on. Uh, good fit toe box is just perfect my feet are not wide as I would call them but they are not skinny either fits me perfect there so let's go ahead and uh, pull this tuck that in pull this around buckle 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 and we'll give you a little flex here actually flexes real nice uh, you do have that typical where it wants to buckle right here and push a little bit into your ankle but this is all the flexible area here and even down here so it definitely is more comfortable than uh, some of the boots that don't have this 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 doesn't it wants to push into your ankle, but you don't feel it. It's not irritating. That's actually very nice. They're very flexible. 
And of course, the more flexibility, you're also going to have uh, more tendency to, do, to suffer an injury if you reckon you're riding hard. So keep that in mind. But you can see, got good flex there. This is crunching down, it's flexing out. And they go back very easily uh, for stand up riding. They flex nice. And like I said, I'm not a big fan of that footbed that's in there. It's not irritating. I can live with it. But if I was going to get off a bike and keep them on and do any type of walking for any distance, I would definitely want something else in the footbed. They are, I mean, I'm going to say, other than the footbed issue, they're very comfortable. And you can see, if you can see here, I kind of always show, I don't have a, the biggest calves on the planet, but my calves are a little bit larger on the larger size. And there's plenty, these, are, these will definitely fit, if you have a large calf, these will definitely fit you. I mean, there is still two and a half inches of Velcro for this to latch on to. And uh, there's probably, I'm sure there's still plenty of strap inside there. Uh, so, very nice. Unbuckle them. Comes off nice. Rip that. Pull it out. And they are, I think they're a really good looking boot with the, the accents of red with the white. This little red fancy sexy pinstripe there. And the little forma on the back. And these will, uh, let me grab. These are the Forma Adventure boots, which I've had for a long time. Uh, and these are the ones, I'm sure I've done a video on them. I stand up a lot when I'm off-road, and I wore these, I, wore, I blew these soles out probably within three months and about seven or eight rides I had them blown out. So... Don't buy the Forma Adventures if you stand up on sharp pegs and you ride off-road a lot. These are for adventure guys on the on the, the big BMW and uh, like your big Tenere's and stuff like that. And I know some of you guys are badasses and you stand up on your, your big BMW and everything. But that's what these are for if you're more of a straight up adventure, not so much off-road kind of guy. These should be a much better sole for stand-up riding. So that's what we're going to find out. We'll, uh, I'll get a ride on them, throw them on here one of these days, take them for a ride, and I'll take you along for the ride. We'll put a mic in the helmet, and I'll kind of let you know how they feel on the ride and uh, how they're working out. Remember to like, subscribe, feel free to comment. I try to answer everybody, and I usually do. Uh, and we'll see you next video, and we'll get these on and take them for a ride.